Kei Nishikori is Japan's most successful tennis player of all time. At the 2014 US Open, Nishikori became the first Asian man to reach a Grand Slam singles final and has a career-high ranking of four in the world. More recently, the 26-year-old appeared in ESPN's World Fame 100, placing 47th on their list of the planet's biggest sports stars. Kay's formative years were spent in the United States under the guidance of Gabe Hamarillo. That's it, watch Robin at the course, Jenna. Very good. Having coached eight world number ones, including Andre Agassi, Pete Sampras, and Monica Seles, Gabe knows a thing or two about player development. I have a very, very careful plan when I work with a player. For example, with Nishikori at 11 years old, and we already had a plan. At 18 years old, he had to be playing US Open, the real US Open. So basically, we do a plan forward and we move all the way back. What steps we needed to have every year, not only in terms of results and tournaments, but also in the areas of his game that he needed to improve. To me, it is very difficult to make a player without a plan, and the plan has to be in writing. And the plan, you have to be studying the plan and making sure that you are accomplishing the goals. Gabe is currently in the process of developing a female Nishikori, and he's recently begun working with a couple of outstanding prospects. Hi, my name's Senna. And I'm Natsumi. Senna Takebe and Natsumi Kawaguchi are two of Japan's top juniors. Earlier this year, the 14-year-olds were invited to live and train at the Club Med Academy in Florida, where Gabe is director of tennis. They are very different players. Senna, for example, hits the ball very early. Mechanically, she's beautiful the way she hits the ball. She moves extremely well. She plays very close to the baseline. But she's more of a careful player. While Natsumi, she takes a lot of risk. She plays with no fear. She has a lot of power out of the forehand, out of the backhand. She has a lot of fun when she plays. So it's two different personalities, two different styles of play. But I think both of them have a chance to, to be very, very good. And my goal is for them to be top 10 in the world. There are lots of boys and girls from all over the world here. And the training itself is really interesting. There are lots of drills that can help you improve your game like practicing hitting to different areas of the court. Our training is quite varied and original. It's different from what I've been used to in the past, but I think it's been really good for me. Control it. Very good, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Firm with the ball, firm. The players here have lots of different styles. You have offensive and defensive baseliners, and players who hit the ball with a lot of spin, which can make returning their shots very difficult. I get to practice and play against them every day, so it's really good training. As was the case with Nishikori, Senna and Natsumi are able to train in Florida thanks to the Masaki Morita Tennis Fund, which pays for all their travel, coaching and living expenses. A huge tennis fan, Masaki Morita is former deputy president of Sony and the younger brother of company founder, Akio Morita. It has been a beautiful relationship. We started many years ago, I probably 15 or 16 years ago, uh, I met Mr. Morita. His idea was to bring a player, to make a, a champion out of Japan. That was his goal when he finished uh, with Sony. His idea when he retired was to help a player become top 10 in the world. Uh, I liked the idea. I wanted to be part of it. And uh, one of the things that also he wanted to do was to make sure that that player could take ja uh, Japan to the world. He wanted to make sure that the player was going to be a star, not just a tennis player or a champion, he wanted to be a star. In the late 1970s, Sony launched the Walkman Personal Stereo, a landmark product that became a worldwide sales phenomenon. 
Marita applied a similar can-do attitude when faced with the challenge of developing an elite-level tennis player. Everybody thought it was an impossibility. You know, to have such a little thing, to be able to have so much music, everybody told me it cannot be done, it cannot be done. And he kept saying, yes, it can be done. And same thing with the Japanese players. Everybody thought it was very difficult for a player to Japan to become top in the world. And he used to tell me the story with the Walkman. He said, we can do it with the Walkman, we can do it with a player. Yes, we can. In addition to Gabe's expertise, there's a substantial support group on hand to help the girls maximize their potential on and off the court. I really believe that to make a player, it takes a team. It's very difficult only for one coach to make a champion. For one thing, you need a, a coach that has the experience, that is a, a, a champion coach, put it that way. But beside it, you need a team behind it. When Ishikori, we used to have about 19 people that work with him. With these girls right now, we have about 16 coaches. Uh, from coaches to mental conditioning coaches, to, con to uh, physical conditioning coaches, to physiotherapists, to the people in the school, all that are part of the team. So right now, the girls have 16 people involved with them to, to help us produce a champion. Despite the wealth of resources, moving a young person from Japan to the United States can still be fraught with difficulties, given the disparities between the two countries. Their costumes, their personalities, their culture is so different. After a, a practice se session, for example, I could ask them, what do you learn today from the, from the practice? Uh, when they give you the answers, they don't give you a lot of answers. And for us as coaches, we need that information. I need to know how they feel, not only uh, physically, but emotionally. And that's the hard part with the Japanese players, that they are very guarded. In order to ease them into life at the academy, Sena and Natsumi have been assisted by Makoyo Ari, who fulfills a variety of roles, from interpreter to counselor. <laughs> There are so many differences between life in the United States and Japan. The customs, language and food are all very different. When you think about it, attitudes and behavior are different as well. And the girls probably get quite confused by all of this. So I think it's quite a big challenge for girls of this age to come over to this country and try to live on their own. Typically, the girls' day begins at 7.30 in the morning and takes in two sessions out on court, strength and conditioning workouts in the gym, plus academic studies at the on-site school. Their schedule also allows plenty of time to relax and enjoy life. I really enjoy my days off because there are lots of facilities here, like the swimming pool and the trapeze. It's fun to try out all these things, and I've also been able to make friends from all over the world. I'm having fun here and enjoying myself a lot. I liked playing in Japan, but over here there are so many more people to practice with. Being here also means I've been able to learn English. And because we live at the academy and have our own rooms, you have time to yourself to relax and do your own thing. <laughs> This is the girls' first year playing on the International Tennis Federation Junior Circuit, which involves travelling to at least 12 countries a year. The plan is for them to break into the top 200 in the junior rankings by the end of 2017, then the top 60 the year after, and to be playing in Grand Slam tournaments by the time they're 18. With Gabe guiding the way, there's every chance that Senna and Natsumi will graduate to the professional ranks and go on to make their mark on the tennis world. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. To me, it's so powerful to see these students when they're 11, 12 years old, and then to see them an Agassi or a Sampras to go 
from when they were juniors to see them to become stars. I still want to make another number one in the world. I still want another player to get up there and keep motivating all the other kids that come from behind, no matter where they're from. Go again. Go again. Ah, I'm so 